Annie Christman and we're here in Chesterfield, Missouri. I think I was like many um, young moms my age, busy with two little boys and my husband um, taking care of them. I had gone on a trip with my older son to visit my family down in Texas and had felt a lump um, for a while but just didn't think anything of it and I went to the pharmacy to get my younger guy's medicine and I think God sent an angel because this older woman came at 10 to 8 in the morning on a weekday and stopped by the pharmacy bench next to where I was waiting for the pharmacy to open and we were chit-chatting about things and she um, was telling me about her history and, and her actually history with cancer and breast cancer and after the conversation the pharmacy opened and she got up to walk away and I said oh ma'am aren't you ready to pick up your medicine it's the pharmacy's open and she goes oh no I just needed a rest I needed a break and I thought okay 10 to 8 on a Tuesday morning and she just happens to sit next to me and I just happened to have come at that time because normally I pick it up at a different time I'd been out of town and we start talking and her story um, kind of compelled me to go get the lump checked out. I went and had the ultrasound done and the mammogram and they thought it looked suspicious so they asked me to come back and do a biopsy. So they called back the very next day and said are you ready to talk about your results? <laughs> and I'm busy trying to get one guy down for a nap and the other guy getting taken care of and I'm thinking okay I guess it's not no if we need to talk about it. So she said, it's a very aggressive form of cancer. You need to get it taken care of right away. And Dr. LaPointe was kind enough to steer me towards Dr. Patricia Limpert and to get an appointment with her scheduled as soon as possible. So she um, was contacted and it all started. My first impression of Dr. Limpert, I was very impressed with how concerned she seemed. And for me as a young mom and knowing that she was a young mom, I felt immediately like she got it, that I didn't have time for this. <laughs> this was not something that was on my radar. And when I met with Dr. Limpert, she was very reassuring that it was gonna be okay. And she had me meet with Dr. Rooney and discuss the results of the biopsy and what kind of cancer it was and what kind of chemo treatments were available and the doctors that we met with were all very reassuring and what I most appreciated was the continuity of care between the doctors. So within Dr. LaPointe's office, communicating to Dr. Limpert, to Dr. Rooney, and I understand they have um, breast care conferences where they talk about all the patients every week, I believe. So I felt like I was being handled in a way that was uh, complete care and I wasn't going to have to ask this person to ask this person. The infusion center, when I started my treatment, it was obviously my first experience in that kind of setting and it was very scary to know that you were going to be there for a whole day and, and these chemicals that were there to help you but along the way would make you sick. So the nurses there were all very helpful in making us comfortable with what the medicine was and why we were getting it and why I would feel the way that I would. And there were some wonderful volunteers in the infusion center that would come by with warm blankets and snacks and drinks and just make you feel pampered in a way. After chemo was radiation and the team uh, under Dr. Bott was very efficient and that was something where you are there every day and um, rain or shine and you have to finish that treatment and I think I can't remember exactly how many days mine was but it was a couple months worth of treatment every day and they all were they they did a great job and I felt like I, it was a blink and then it was over and then it was on to getting better well because of the series of surgeries that I had had to have and because of the radiation I had had quite a bit of um, shoulder damage and, and I had what they call banding where I couldn't lift my arms very well and that's kind of hard to do when you have a three-year-old you kind of need to be able to care and lift and especially he's not very mobile and I carry equipment and ventilators and all these things and so I had to have the use of my body because then I would have been no help to them so Dr. Lempert and Dr. Rooney prescribed that I go to see Laura Sherman in the rehabilitation center and she was amazing. I'm left with a body that doesn't perform the way it did, doesn't look the way it did, and I wanted it back. And Laura Sherman was somebody that 
very carefully and very effectively assessed where I was and who I wanted to be and got me there um, and was very patient. She helped answer a lot of my questions that I may have not even thought of when I was on that conveyor belt because you're just going from one appointment and one treatment to the next. But when I was at the end of it and all of a sudden you're still spinning, she was very wonderful at explaining a lot of things to me that I didn't understand. And I uh, was able to use my shoulder again and, and um, function the way I did before cancer. From there, it was noticed that I wasn't able to resume my exercises that I had been doing. And so I was prescribed physical therapy with Amanda. And she did an awesome job at not only getting me able to exercise again, but quite possibly better than where I was before cancer. She was able to help me understand how my body was working and where it had been in the last year with all the, the chemo drugs and the radiation and what exactly had happened to it. Because even though I was starting to feel better, my body had gone through so much that I couldn't very well expect it to function the way that it had been doing before treatment. So she was able to break everything down for me and, and get my body functioning back at a level that was more um, than I ever thought I probably could have. Now I feel wonderful. I think the perspective that this last year and a half has given me is one of peace and hope that with a facility like St. Luke's and the doctors and the kind of care that they provided, when you're diagnosed with cancer, it's not dire. And it's something that there are people there that can help and support you. If someone were to ask me if I would recommend St. Luke's in the, in the future, I would say absolutely. And in fact, I already have because unfortunately there are more and more younger uh, women that are being diagnosed with breast cancer or cancers of various forms. And for me, the experience I had was ideal. If you have to go through this, then you want to have it in a place like St. Luke's where it's the perfect balance of science and medicine, but caring and individuality. And there have been people in my immediate circles that have been diagnosed. And I absolutely recommend coming to St. Luke's because I feel like they will not only benefit from the medicine, but benefit from having their life continue as they want it to continue and it won't be such an interruption to everything and they'll be finished and get to move on like I have. <laughs>